Hey you guys, it's me again Phoebe. Today I am bringing you my first video that's a full book haul. My other book haul was done on my introduction video, I do believe, and I was just a little one, I think. Anyway, so I bought, <laughs> actually I think it was about two weeks ago, I bought about 15 books. <laughs> um and they have all finally arrived I waited until they all arrived to film this otherwise what was the point so let's get into it the first book that I bought I'm pretty sure I bought it off eBay was House of Leaves by Mark Z Danielusk I do not know how to pronounce that last name I am so sorry that was horrible um, so this is a horror um, thriller novel however a few people have said that at the end of it they feel that it was more of a romance novel so clearly a bit twists and twines in there as you can see the um the cover is um the cover is smaller than the actual book and that is because um the house in the book is um bigger on the inside than it is on the outside by one inch and then it goes into all this other horror stuff. And, ooh. Um, when I bought this, I did not think it was going to be this big um, or this heavy. It's it's really heavy. I don't understand it because I have a binder here of three thriller books. Ooh, that was a hard one. And it has more pages than um, The House of Leaves, but The House of Le Leaves is heavier. So logically... Um, what drew me towards this was it's number one that I was a bit of it's more horror than it's fantasy apparently that's what I've heard don't hold me to that um, and I'm trying to get into more horrorness of things um, also these layout of the book um, like this is a page and up here you can see you've got some I don't know if you can see that really well that's written upside down and so is that part there and like they're the only things on those pages um, words different colors um, things have spaces in between them when they wouldn't like words have spaces like in the middle of them um, you've got words that are just like that and I really just love the layout of it. It's it's amazing. The word house is always in blue. I don't know if you can see the blueness of that on there, but it's always in blue. Um, even throughout the book. Um, other words are in other colours. Um, and it looks like a really... It's probably going to be a difficult read because there is so much. Oh, and sorry. Here there's stuff where you have to like go look at into the mirror to see um, to read it properly and you have to turn it upside down and read it all those ways anyway so that's the house of leaves it does sound like a really hard book to read because it's so and you know the horrorness of it so yes but i'm very much looking forward to reading it so that is my first book i then bought um, two th more things off eBay, and they're both a, uh, it's not like really a package, um, like it was like a collection of books. So one was a teenage reading collection, which had the Fallen Stars by John Green, if you don't know what it's about, you've been living under a rock, <laughs> and the perks of being a wallflower. Um, by Stefan Shabosky. I was here by Gail Foreman and all the bright all the bright places places by Jennifer Niven. Niven. Um, so that was the first one and that was just those four. I have read the Fallen Stars and the Perks of Being a Wallflower before. Um, but I wanted to I think I borrowed the Fallen Stars off a friend and 
I read The Perks of Being a Warflower on my Kobo. Um, so I wanted a physical copy of it. Also, I do plan to reread both of these for my reread month, which is coming up soon after um, after Booktubeathon, which I'm very excited for. Anyway, so yes, um, we all know what this is about. This is about Charlie the freshman, and he has senior friends and everything going on with him. Um, this one, I didn't know what it was until I got it back because um, I didn't read the back or whatever. But all the right places about ooh, the story of a girl who learns to live from a boy who wants to die. Um, it's about this girl named Violet Marquis um, and she's devastated by her sister's death and Theodore Finch who wants to take his own life and they meet and the story follows that. Um, I Was Here um, is about Meg who, I don't know if she wants to kill herself or she has killed herself, um, but it says on the back here, Cody and Meg were inseparable, best friends for life. They knew everything about each other, or Cody thought they did, but how well do you really, do you ever really know your best friend and what do you do when they choose to leave you behind? So, um, I read Get Your Foreman's If I Stay, it is down there, you can't really see it, but it's down there. I love that, so looking forward to read that. So that was my first little thing, and then I bought, oops, again off eBay, I bought a box set of John Green's books, um, which also has a copy of The Fallen and the Stars. I actually like this copy more. It's it's got a weird texture to all the blue parts and then the letters here are more out, oh it's really shiny too, and the letters here for John Green are inwards. So um, I think that's how it is, yeah. So I really like that cover. So I'm probably going to take the other one to my book exchange where I can get another book. Um, so yes, The Fallen the Stars, Looking for Alaska. Um, Paper Towns, I have seen the movie for this one. Um, and An Abundance of Catherines. Um, I only know what this is about because I watched the movie, so I only know from the movie. Um, and then these two I know absolutely nothing about, so it'll be good to read them. Um, and yeah, I just thought I should own some more John Green books. So I've got those. And then the rest of these books I bought off of. Um, I bought off of the book depository and with the book depository they gave me some colouring um, bookmarks here. I have, as you can see, I've done this one here and a little bit of the dragon here. I did do some of this one but then the, um, as you can see, it's supposed to be silver and gold but the silver kind of um, overtook the lines so you can't really see the lines behind so that one's kind of screwed up now. And then I've got another rose and a dragon one that I have yet to do. Um, so, books. Oops. Okay, so we have Me Before You by Jojo Moyers. I do have a um, book review about this coming up, um, which also features what I thought about the movie. Um, I read this in just over 24 hours, I think. I got it a few weeks ago or whatever. I started reading it on the Thursday at 7.30, finished it Saturday at 1.30am, um, and then we went to see the movie Sunday 12.30. So, um, so if you want to know what that's about and everything, Go see my other one, which will be up very soon. Um, yes. Then we have the Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith, which I've seen on Booktube a bunch. And I like the fact that it, this novel, which is actually the rest of these books are all like really fairly small books. Um, so it's like a good easy read. Um, 
I like that this one is set over a 24 hour period which I thought was very good and it's about what are their names um 17 year old Haley ha Hadley Sullivan's Sullivan um she's stuck at JFK airport and late to her father's second wedding which is taking place in London and involves a soon-to-be stepmother Hadley's never met which I think is ridiculous um, then she meets the perfect boy in the airport's cramped waiting area his name is Oliver he's British and he's sitting in her row a long night on the plane passes in the blink of an eye and Hadley and Oliver lose track of each other in the airport chaos upon arrival can fate intervene to bring them together once more um, so yeah really excited for that it sounds very interesting but like I said I like that it's set over 24 hours but at the same time I feel like that's gonna it means it's, it's gonna be detailed 24 hours but it's gonna go fast um, I'm filming that this is a really awkward time the Sun is setting so there's not a lot of natural light um, is this any better? If I turn that on. So the light goes on. Artificial light. Um, then we have Stolen, which is written in second point of view, I'm pretty sure. That's what it's called. Um, and it's written as a letter from a victim to her captor. This is Gemma's desperate story of survival. Ty has stolen her body against every instinct screaming inside her. Will he also steal Gemma's heart? Um, so, like it says, it's a letter written from Gemma to her kidnapper, Ty, and it's in second point of view, so it's um, it's like you're the kidnapper. Um, I decided to get this after watching um, a video by Nye Reads and Smiles. Um, because she was talking about this and she was just so excited that it was the first book that she ever read that was in second point of view so it made me excited to read it so did that I will link her video below so you guys can check it out but then we have everything everything by Nicola Yoon um, and it's about this girl Maddie who is allergic to the world and she hasn't left her house in 17 years Ollie is the boy next door. He's determined to find a way to reach her. <sighs> everything, everything is about the crazy risk we take for love. Um, very interesting. I like that she's allergic to everything. It'll put a twist and see how it goes on about it. And it's just a really pretty cover. Look at that. That's gorgeous. So, and it feels nice to me. So yes, it's that one. Everything I Never Told You by Celeste NG. I don't know if NG is just the initials or if how to pronounce that, so I'm just gonna say NG. If it's wrong, I am sorry. Lydia is dead, but they don't know this yet. So begins the exquisite novel about a Chinese American family living in 1970. A Chinese American family living in 1970s small town Ohio. Lydia is a favourite child of Marilyn and James Lee and her parents are determined that she will that she will fulfill the dreams they were unable to pursue. But when Lydia's body is found in the local lake, the delicate balancing act that has been keeping the Lee's family together is destroyed, tumbling them over into chaos. A profoundly moving story of secrets and longing, everything I never told you, is both a gripping page turner and a sensitive family portrait about love, lies and race. So yeah, I saw this, where did I see this? I think I saw this on my Pinterest feed. It sounded interesting. So I bought it. Last and not least, this one has been, I saw it on Pinterest um, and it has been in my book section on my Pinterest for maybe a year. I can't quite remember. Um, but yes, it is The List by, I'm going to pronounce this name wrong, I'm so sorry, by Savan, Sob, Savan, Vivian. 
I'm so sorry if I pronounce that wrong. I'm really bad with names today. And it's about um, a bunch of girl every at the beginning. Oh, every year before homecoming, lists up list the list is posted all over school, um, and it lists the prettiest. Yes, what? Um, two girls are picked from each grade. One is the prettiest, and one is the ugliest. And the girls who aren't picked are really forgotten. So it would just go follows a few girls, I'm pretty sure, and their reaction to being on the list and how their life changes for being on the list, whether it is for the being prettiest or the ugliest. So I thought that it's a good read. It also has a weird texture, and I really like the cover. I feel like that's really cool. So they are my 15 books that I have recently bought. Um, oh, I did buy earlier today a, an e-book and it is, oops, can you see that? Zenith! The Androma Saga Part 1 by Sasha Asberg and Lindsay Cummings. It came out today, but today is yesterday in like America or whatever so it came out on the 21st here in Australia on the 22nd um, so I bought that earlier today and I plan on reading it and I'm so excited for it congratulations girls for writing a book and I'm so excited for the rest of it I can't wait to read it so good on yous. so that is my book haul for today um, I'm trying to go off buying right now because I need to save money <laughs> stressful time. Um, so happy reading to you all and I'll see you guys next time.